As the occupation of the legislature of the Cross-Strait Trade and Services Pact entered its 10th day, students called for a mass demonstration this Sunday. Organizers are calling for protesters to convene in front of the presidential office building on Ketagalan Boulevard and show solidarity in their opposition to the trade pact. Holding a black banner and standing in front of the legislature, these students are calling for citizens to defend their democracy. Push to send the trade and services pact back to the negotiating table and stand together in opposition. At 1 o'clock in the afternoon on March 30th, with no time set for its conclusion, we are inviting friends and supporters from all over the country to come together on Ketagalan Boulevard all the way to Zhongshan South Road, extending to the legislature, as we hope to occupy this entire section of road. The new threats, as well as a vow to fight to the end, indicate there is little hope for talks between President Ma and student leaders. On one hand, he wants to talk with us, but on the other hand, he is still stuck in the KMT caucus, whose bottom line leaves no area to retreat, which is tantamount to double dealing indicating that this potential dialogue does not have any real meaning. The presidential office issued a press release this evening with three main points in response. It said all the students' demands could be discussed and that it hoped the students would positively respond. As for the protest on Katagalam Boulevard on Sunday, it says citizens have the right to express their views and urge people to be peaceful and act rationally. Finally, it hoped that the legislature could resume normal operations as soon as possible and follow procedures to resolve the problem.